Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be performing our water content of anionic hydrate experiment. So in this lab, we're going to learn to be able to identify the formula of a hydrate. We're also going to be able to determine the moles of water in a hydrate. We're going to gain experience with crucible techniques and burners, and we're going to use weighing to a constant mass as a physical technique. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is set up our equipment stand. We have our equipment stand here, an iron ring, a clay triangle sitting on top of the iron ring, and our crucible and crucible cover sitting inside the clay triangle. We also have our Bunsen burner set up directly underneath the crucible. I've already gone ahead and cleaned our crucible with steel wool, soap, and water. The next thing we need to do is heat our crucible with our Bunsen burner for five minutes. And in this process, the crucible should glow red hot. So we're gonna light our Bunsen burner. We wanna make sure that the crucible is positioned about one centimeter above the inner blue cone of our Bunsen burner flame. And we're gonna let this heat for five minutes and the crucible bottom should glow red hot. At this point, our crucible has been heating for approximately five minutes. And you can see that the bottom of our crucible is now glowing red hot. So we're gonna turn off our Bunsen burner and we're gonna let our crucible and cover cool to room temperature, and then we are going to weigh our crucible and cover. We're going to repeat this heating, cooling, and massing process until the mass is constant or within 0 0.0005 grams. Then we will move on to the next step. So the constant mass of our crucible and crucible cover is 17.6439 grams. We next need to obtain between three and five grams of an unknown hydrate. The unknown hydrate that we're going to be using today is magnesium sulfate with an X number of hydrates. We've added the magnesium sulfate with an X number of hydrates to our crucible. So we're now going to determine the mass of the crucible with our magnesium sulfate and the crucible cover. The mass of our crucible, crucible cover, and our magnesium sulfate with an unknown number of hydrates is 21.6962 grams. You should now be able to determine the exact mass of the magnesium sulfate with the unknown number of hydrates that we've added to our crucible. We're next going to heat the hydrate in the crucible gently for about five minutes with the lid slightly ajar. So as we're heating for five minutes, if you hear popping or splattering occurring, you'll need to move the burner slightly to the side to reduce the heat on the crucible. So now that we've been heating gently for about five minutes, we're going to heat strongly by turning up the flame for an additional five to 10 minutes with the lid still slightly ajar to drive off any remaining water from the hydrate. Okay, so we've been heating on high heat our crucible for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the Bunsen burner. 
And we're going to allow our crucible to cool for about five minutes. And after that five minutes, we're going to weigh it. And we're gonna repeat this heating and cooling process until we have a constant mass within 0 0.0005 grams. So the constant mass of our crucible, crucible cover, and the anhydrous magnesium sulfate is 19.6438 grams. Okay, students, you should now be able to determine the mass of water in our original sample and the mass of anhydrous magnesium sulfate. From there, you will use those masses to determine the moles of water and the moles of anhydrous magnesium sulfate. You will then need to find the mole ratio of water to anhydrous magnesium sulfate, and that will give you the coefficient of our hydrate. Thank you for joining me for this experiment.